Things are moving along nicely. We now know the forms for case and gender for words like der Mann, die Frau, das Mädchen, der Löffel, die Gabel und das Messer. But what we don't know yet is the form for plurals like die Männer, die Frauen, die Mädchen, die Löffel, die Gabeln und die Messer. Notice, by the way, that the words for girl, spoon, and knife are the same in both singular and plural. Well, this time we get lucky. The plural cases of the definite article are the same for all the genders. Now that we know that, translate these sentences into English. They use both singular and plural. First, this one. Der Mann hat die Löffel. The man has the spoons. It's plural because the article D is from the plural column accusativ. Try this one. Die Mädchen geben den Frauen die Gabeln. Everything here is plural. The girls give the women the forks. How about this one? Die Frauen haben die Gabeln und das Messer. There's only one knife in our answer. The women have the forks and the knife. Remember, die Gabeln und das Messer are both akkusativ. Now try this long sentence. Das Mädchen gibt den Frauen und den Männern den Löffel. The girl gives the women and the men the spoon. There's only one spoon here. It's accusativ singular. If I wanted more than one spoon, I would have to use the plural form of the definite article. It would have to be die Löffel, not den Löffel. We're closing in on the end of this overview. And in the next video, I'm going to cover a topic that I have deliberately avoided so far. See you then.